All right, guys, we're gonna look at some comps real quick. Just, we, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about comps. So let's jump into different kinds of comps, what they're used for, what you're gonna do with it, and hopefully you can find out which one you should get. So we're specifically looking at the 365 right here, um, but we do have comps for the 320 also on the table here. So what, we, what I wanna kinda point out is what you're gonna do with the comp. So if you're gonna permanently mount your comp and you never plan to take it off, then you know any, any comp works, that's great. But like me, if, I, if you're putting a comp on there because you know just the threaded little protectors don't really do anything, and, but you wanna be able to take it off to drop a can on there in the future or even just certain days, then, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and invest in a comp that's easier to take off and on. And so let's kind of look at that. Um, we're gonna start off with kind of the basic, the, the simple comp. It's basically a thread protector. It, I, I borderline don't call this a comp just because it's, it's not really pushing the gases up and sideways, it's pushing them all 360. So it's not really compensating it for the purposes of reduced recoil when you're shooting. It's really just compensating it every direction. But it is a great solution if you just want something a step up from a thread protector that comes on your threaded barrel. Um, but I don't know if it actually does anything. I haven't tested it. I don't have a jig to test it. So we're not really going to talk about efficiency of each comp. That you're going to have to determine on your own or through other reviews or through the manufacturer's site. Hopefully they, they post statistics on, on how, the, how efficient the comp is. Um, but what I want to look at is kind of the, the, the basic differences in design. So we've got here, this is an Archon manufacturing comp, and you got kind of screws on the bottom to, to tighten it. So this design tightens it down on the thread so it can't come off. Then you've got your Parker Mountain. So Parker Mountain, in my opinion, great, great comps, but you, you get a, a shim kit, you get red Loctite, you get all this stuff to install it, really hard to install, in my opinion, not designed to ever come off. So I've got the, I've got one of these on my 509, permanently set it, set it on there with the red Loctite. I do not plan to ever put a suppressor on there or take this off. The reason I've never mounted this one is because I have a can for my 320 and putting this on is just gonna, it's not gonna come off. And so it will come off if you really, really wanted to, but it's red Loctite and you've shimmed it. So you've got all these little shims, very thin. So it says right here, 0.002 inches, 0.005. So you shim it, so you time it. So it takes a little bit of setup and it's not very hard. Watch this video, he'll, he'll explain it. And you shim it and you Loctite it on there. So taking it off to throw on a can for a certain range day, not really gonna happen. Cause to take this off, you need uh, the little block that you mount on here, you put it in the vise and it's, it's, it's a process. So heads up on that. Great comp, but it's a process to take off. Same, while we're talking about Parker Mountain, same with their micro comps. So their micro comps are kind of the same. They come with the shim kit and the red Loctite, and they come with their, their dedicated barrel. So you can never really get their micro comps without their barrel. And if you notice the difference here, um, I don't really have another 320 barrel, but Here's a three, uh, sorry, the three, 365, 320. Here's a 320, a lot less threads, and that's how he's able to get the micro comp. So love the micro comp idea and, and ability that it, it gives you a shorter, uh, shorter comp, shorter package. So this is for the 365, um, but at the same time, you have to red Loctite and shim this, and it's not really gonna come off. So good option if you do not plan to take your, your comp off ever. Um, just because of the red Loctite and the shims, it's not something you can just pop off. Whereas the Archon one, you can just back those out. There's some blue Loctite in there. You back those out, you can unthread it, pop it off. It's not a process to take off. You don't need a vise. This you do. You need a vise to install it and a vise to take it off. And I don't know if, if you can take it off with that red Loctite, so. Um, I'm sure you can, but you're, you're going to do some damage. You'll see a lot of people with the Parker Mountain uh, micro comps, 
and it'll have scratches all over it just because the installation is pretty tricky if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but great option, love their stuff. Um, let's move over to some of the others that are similar with, uh, so you got Archon and you've got the NRC, uh, I think they call it the ARC. I don't know, that's just what I keep calling it because NRC always reminds me of ARC. Um, either way, maybe it is the ARC compensator. I don't know, you, you, check it out, look it up, NRC. Um, same idea, they put set screws um, at an angle. So I like that because on the 320, you're not gonna ever see those set screws. Great, great, great way to hide it, but still have those set screws to keep it from unthreading itself while, while in use. Um, but again, because it does have set screws, you'll be able to back those out, much like the Archon one, to drop a comp on there, or if, you, or if you're just trying to take apart your slide um, and, and service, service something, you're able to do that. So same with, so this is also another Archon. This one's designed for the 365. I think the Glock and the 365. Um, but same idea where it's got those set screws on there. I, I put this on with the rail. Kind of looks a little better, maybe. Um, and for those asking, this is a Norso slide. You're probably asking the comments or something. So I don't have an optic. I haven't really set that up yet. I'm waiting some some parts. And then we've got the new Harrington arms. So they got the set screw right there on the sides. I haven't set this one in because it. I just painted it this morning because I got a uh, a test version to test it on an XL. He, he did not have an XL. It works great on the standard uh, 365 with our rail. He's kind of designed it to kind of look kind of cool on there. I really like the look. Check out some of the pictures we'll put in here for that. Um, but at the same time, you're able to undo those screws and back it out. And then unthread it, put your can on, or just be able to take your barrel out. So that's, it's kind of one of the downsides is, is even with, so with, when you've got that red Loctite on there, you're not able to really even take your slide out or your barrel out of your slide. Um, in the, in the sense that, or in the scenario where you would need to do that, which I, I don't know, unless you got a failure or something, or you just really, you've got a different slide or whatnot. So, um, and then we'll, let's look at the. Uh, this is the Killer Innovations. So I've done a full review on this. If you guys want to go check it out on, on our YouTube, we've got uh, a bunch on there. So these guys went one step ahead than, than just the standard set screws. Is They even provide, you can even buy their barrel, and they make it, they give you the right set screws for a non-Killer uh, Innovations barrel. But essentially, those, you see how these set screws line up in that barrel right there. So it's it's just kind of an added anti anti walk feature and then they do have two di different inserts on here so i think i can actually just yeah they have two different inserts that come that just look like thread suppress uh thread protectors but they actually change the spacing that's in here for the comp so if it's comping it too much you can put a bigger one on and you'll get less compensation out of it and then this is this is kind of a, a button to keep the threads from turning. So you don't have to Loctite it. So in my opinion, this is probably the easiest to take off because you've got kind of this button and you can back it off. But then at the same time, you do have... So I guess same same as the rest of them with set screws. Um, Harrington and all that. But this has one more added step of protection to keep it from walking off. And then again, it is a lot bigger. It uses a lot more space down at the bottom, but it's a great option. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of gold. This was sent to me for free. Did a little review, little video. Um, I do like it. I do love their designs, but gold's just not really my color. And then I can't remember these guys' names. I'm sure you know. I might just put their name on the screen. I got this one for testing. Uh, Tyrant Comp. Apparently this is tunable. I think it came with a wrench to turn that. You can kind of see how the different ports in there, as you turn it, they would comp it differently. Um, so different setup. I believe they also do the shims. Correct me if I'm wrong. I never actually installed this. I got it for testing um, with our rail, and I've never been a fan of having that glossy. Uh, it's just kind of... 
a little bit too glossy. The whole thing's a little too glossy for me. And a little, I'm just not a fan of the design, to be honest, guys. It's probably a great comp. If you've got it, don't go try to go, don't go exchange one, just change it out. But it's just not really my cup of tea. It's really blocky. Um, but similar as the Parker Mountain with the Loctite and the shims to, to time it. Um, so that's kind of the, the basic types of comps that are out there. So depending on your need, if you see yourself putting a suppressor on it, I do on this right now. I can't get my suppressor off my Archon because it's just a little too tight. My tool to wrench on it's coming. And I'll drop it on here and I'll probably take it out um, where, where I can just undo these screws. Yes, they'll be blue Loctited in, but I'll be able to just back those out, um, put the can on there, run it. And then when I get home again, blue lock till I those back in, you know, wait 24 hours, of course, and go. Um, same with kind of a, an Archon design, Archon manufacture, manufacturing. Um, the only difference is here between these two is really just design and function. I'm sure they function differently having the two ports versus the one port. port. Length is pretty similar. And then the Harrington, so this is the Harrington Arms. Again, it's a it's an early version that I rattle canned. So if the paint job sucks, that's because I rattle canned it this morning. I was just testing it for him. Um, but if you see the the Harrington one, kind of extends its its dust cover lower than than the uh, Archon here. The Archon just hangs out, and if this rail wasn't on there, um, it would just be hanging out there for all to see, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've had some issues trying to take this one off, but so yeah, there's no, there's no portion down here. And so I, I that's really just aesthetics in my opinion. I, I do like the look when they do kind of e extend down below, Parker Mountain does it. Um, man, I wish I would have remembered the name of this one. If you know the name, comment, and I'll probably put it in here because I'll look it up afterwards. I do like that it extends below. It kind of completes the gun versus just kind of the empty void there. And yeah, so that's kind of what we're talking about. Yes, I've had also a lot of questions if I plan on making an, a longer rail for a Compt XL. I have that in the works. It's been in the works for a year now. Problem is going even further. There's a lot of leverage out here, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, let me know if there's any other comps that I'm missing as far as different um, mounting systems, and we can probably get our hold of it and and get it in here and see if we can help people make decisions on which one is going to work best for them. So, like I said, on my 509, my FN 509, I just mounted the Parker Mountain one directly. So on the on the on the on my on my 509 tactical, I just directly mounted the uh, Parker Mountain one here with their barrel. So it's their two port with their barrel. So it's basically the same barrel as the micro ones, by making the threads shorter. But you're getting two and getting the full extension. So I like that look. This is also different that you haven't seen in any of these. They actually have designed it. To instead of just being flush and have a, a gap there to go back on the slide and so it gives it kind of a a complete look of being integrated and you'll see yes lots of people screw up mounting their parker mountain ones because they're difficult you have to really wrench on them in a vise and i slipped but i painted it up touched it up so but that's what you're getting with a Parker Mountain. You're getting a more finished look. I, I'll never take this off. I'll never run a can on this. Same with their micro comps. You've seen it on the 365. This is on the 320. I will never take this one off. It's just too, too much work. It's a, in the shop. You're never just gonna go to the range with this and be like, oh yeah, let me slap my can on there because you would need a different barrel and you would need a vise and the block and the wrench to take it off. But, 
But if your end goal is something like this, it's a great solution. It's the shortest solution you're gonna get. This, if you're gonna ask, this is a subcompact Norso slide, subcompact, and the subcompact Parker Mountain microcomp. Um, so it extends a little bit further than the compact frame, but it's not a bad look. So that's kind of what we're looking at as far as comps. Um, I have been been moving more towards these uh, set screw designs. Um, in person, this does not look so green and bright. It's so funny how the camera's doing that to this. Like in person, I can barely tell the color of these apart. So anyway, this is just rattle canned TLR7A. Um, but yeah, kind of been moving towards these. Going to be running this pretty soon. And yeah, if you have any questions, guys, drop them in the comments. Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow if you, if you want to. No skin on my nose. But yeah, that's what we looked at. Let's get back to it. Let me know what else you want to see in the future.